So we can see um, uh, May coming out actually from Houston Outlaws. Links are on the on, on the May there. Um, that's going to be yeah. going to be nice to see. Libra on the Farah, as you can as you can sort of expect. Um, sort of trying to get those sort of damage shots in. Uh, Links are sort of just trying to get that point control as well. Um, trying to get those headshots. I mean, once again, you know, this being one of those maps that since the point is in such an enclosed area, we we often see heroes that can really take advantage of that. So May, her Blizzard, a very good crowd control sort of ult, and, and, and it can be used here, or he can use uh, the Ice Ball to block off one of the entrances, and that means that they regain complete control over the other entrance to the point. We see double uh, projectile on the side of New York Excelsior because you can spam the projectile damage and have the splash damage into this point. Yeah, and you can see oh, Slivro very, oh, very really quickly really getting his barrage and using it, getting Cormac and, uh, cool and Jake there. Um, and Ronnie actually managing his revenge. Yeah, again, it's flipping that point just as I was about to say that it was working out the links are on the May. They, um, oh, Mecha They're resetting. Just, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Um, <laughs> get, trying to get you, trying to get that um, mech back. Just uh, the hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm jumping off the edge. <laughs> We see uh, Jonak's side of this story. So he actually managed to get down down Jake. So all the damage wasn't even just down to Libro. Let's not forget our trusty forget Zenyata. Yep. Um, but already his can... Outlaws have taken the cat back for themselves. Yep. Riptire coming in from Jake only managed to get Cybe Olby, but that was, you know, Riptire, you get one kill. It's pretty good in pro Overwatch. I think it was actually Cybe Olby's tire getting... Did... No, I don't think Jake's used his tire yet. I think um I think we're gonna see see the tire still still there from Jake if he doesn't decide oh, to switch. Well then the kill feed lied. Uh, I think it was Sabobi's tire got taken out by Jake, I believe. Um and we can see that oh. Lib Libero is quite getting quite He's close scouting. to a, getting quite close to a barrage again. So that that might be coming out. But we can see Linksa is um also getting close to his blizzard, which is gonna be nice to see because they'll probably be able to use that to recapture to gain that space onto point if they can get that follow-up damage uh, but we have jonax um we have J here we go we have jake's tire coming in now manages to catch up so you'll be i was, there. I was just telling the future yep, okay? you were telling the future gets this revenge they were getting dived there by cool Matt. the rockets taking him out you can't do much when you have a diva coming towards you like that because you don't want to shoot and kill yourself and we can see that links are using that blizzard he's going to try and take control of the point try to follow up poor mecco is he gonna get he's getting protected but so hard by jonax that he can't do in the end uh he's taken out by linksa but jonak survives and Mano's getting trapped on the point yeah <laughs> no and he we have that straight back onto the jake's trap that was very smart play from jake we saw mano get trapped onto the point using that ice wall and then jake laying the trap straight behind him so that he just stepped back onto it without even realizing it was just a death trap all around there and very good hats off to NYXL for holding that one. I mean, I when that um, when we had that clutch play with Jonah having to use his trance to keep Mecha alive, you know, I wasn't confident. But we now we have we have the pharmacies for both sides. Now we had that Farah and Mercy combo. Um, we have Jake on the Farah, Bani on the Mercy, and then Libero and Animo. So that's just going to be um, a sort of Farah jewel going on in the skies. But Libero has his barrage that he can use either just to to wipe out um, <laughs> Jake or to just get on to point with. Yeah, the Houston Outlaws are pushing on pretty hard here, but New York are not willing to let them have that space. Jake building up his ult charge, and Libero has been just kind of staying out the out the side here. Well, <sighs> not anymore now that Cormac's cool got him, but it's a very good scouting tool as a far if you stay behind those those roofs and you can use their slant to actually stay on them longer, and it gives you a really good view of what's going on from the enemy team. But Jake now also on the point, Houston having just capped it, so even though New York, they've got the ultimate advantage, Houston have now got their time to build it up. New York on 99%. So they could just take it back with just one push, but they're going to want to be coordinated. Yeah, and you're going to get up to 99 very quick for the Houston Outlaws. So it's going to be what looks like a 99 to 99 fight, but you've got two of those old um, supports coming in from the NYXL. You've got Cool Matt trying to flank around, trying to see if he can get anything from him with his self-destruct there, or just to try and pick someone off. And we can see that their Mano forced to use his... Um, primal rage to stay alive just to try and gain some space Chionak caught out on his own but he's not going to get targeted just yet um we can see that that self-destruct's going up as he, he wants to try and catch out someone from the sky doesn't manage it 
Mumu using his own primal rage to get save you'll be down. And we can see that it's all going to be clutch on the point. 99 to 99%. Raucus forcing to use his transcendence. Jonak in return. We got two transcendents on point. Libero trying to use his barrage. So much so healing. Shut, shut down by Cool Matt. Only managed to take out Jake. Mano getting it, taking out Barney. So we don't have a whole lot of healing now for, um, for Houston Outlaws. And then we have no one could get on point. That's it. And like, <laughs> I managed to turn that around and no one could get there in time. That so, was. That was pretty good. That was that was a quite a quick take. And and what I found really interesting about the end there is if you were looking at the ultimate charge of Jake, you'll see he was actually building his ultimate charge really, really slowly, which kind of meant that the rest of New York, uh, sorry, Houston had to sort of make up for that because they weren't going to have a barrage in time. So when Libero brought out his own barrage, he had so much healing that Cool Map wasn't actually able to bring him out of the skies. If you looked at the kill feed, you would see that he didn't die. If you looked at the yeah. screen, you'd see he didn't die. It's very and rough for you not to die when you're a far uh, uh, Especially that close to yeah. the ground. Yeah. That, was, that was insane. So that, that definitely allowed New York to be able to take that that point at the end there. Shrine yeah. time, Shrine boys. time. <laughs> Let's go. Um, and we can see we have actually slightly different comps. Still Jake on that Farah, but we have Libero um, deciding not to, to not to choose this Farah here. Um, I don't think Jake will stay on the Farah for very long. Well, Sigilby going to try and... Pick him out of the sky. He's trying to get this space in the back right corner, seeing if you can see him flying around. Um, he's managed to get sort of 25, 27% all. Libero just trying to peek around, trying to see if he can catch out any of those healers that may be sort of straggling, straggling back. We can see he actually manages to take out Raucus, which is pretty huge and helps with Mano finishing off Lynx and Mecco taking out Jake and him, Libero managing to take out Barney. So that is um, a pretty convincing first take of um, of, of Shrine here for NYXL. Yeah, and Houston Outlaws having had so many deaths in that round, it's just so much better for them to all go back to spawn, reconvene, and make sure that they're coming in in a coordinated push for the next time round. Let New York just take the point because they can take it back, right? Yeah, we can see Jake here going sort of very much anti-Libero on the um, Brigitte here, trying to sort of, trying to like, target down this this tracer who is doing so much damage to their supports um so the pharaoh not really working so yeah i think it's a sensible switch for jake here um he's gonna try and go for links of the libero in the background he tries to not take that fight anymore um save will be again in this sort of back right just trying to look down onto point rotating around seeing if he can get any of these supports we have jonak using his transcendence to keep everyone alive there um Save will be picking off links there in the back, which is which means you're a sniper down. But this pulse bomb, oh, will it get anyone? So oh, he manages. Barney trying to take that massively risky res there. Yeah. I'm amazed he even Oof. thought that was a good idea with a pulse bomb right next to him and a, and a tracer right behind him. He was never yeah. going to manage that. It would have no. just been better for the Houston Outlaws to to back off a little bit and 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 he's lost his res. Yeah, that was a uh, very risky res there uh, from Barney. Like if you cried. Yeah, um, but. Yeah, not actually getting anything with a pulse bomb there, but actually managing to do all of that follow-up damage. So it wasn't really needed. And you can see, uh, Animal XL, 72% to zero here. Um, so Houston are going to have to get their, their sort of bodies moving onto point. Yeah, and, and Saibi Obi moving out of the position that he was in, he was staying very carefully on the side there so that he was next to that health pack. But as soon as the Houston Outlaws backed off, he he, he moved out of position to, to try and get some shots through the, the choke point there, just like Jonak did to stop Houston with their push. And Mano is sort of monkeying around, fleeing links are all over the place trying to get him down. So we're forced to have Rulkas using that transcendence onto point to try and keep everyone alive. Mano gets stunned there by the Brigitte. Um, and they're just sort of, you shouldn't have to get onto point now. It's 99%. They're just slowly trying to cap, but it's not quite working with Sable be doing all that damage. Libero getting Rulkas. Lynx are actually managed to get both of the supports here. So that might be the turning moment here. If Libero can get on point and contest it, use that pulse bomb on Jake, manages to get Jake which is a huge pick now. So he might be able to can still contest on this point now. It's in overtime, and they just need, they need a slight little bit more of capture progress here, but they're not going to get it. They're not going to get on point. And Numa NYXL. jumping away really gave that away. I think it, one of the sad things, even though New York managed to take Nepal overall, one of the sad things for them there is uh, is Mano tried so hard to get rid of Lynx, and what he ended up doing was pushing him straight into Raucus's Transcendence. So he got straight healed back up, yep, he which gave him, gave him the perfect opportunity to deal the damage that Mano was trying to prevent. But it didn't matter in the end Aww. because New York managed to take the series. Sad don't, Lynxer. Don't, don't look so sad there, don't, Lynxer. Don't, no. don't cry, Lynxer. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did well. Come on, give him a hug. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so pure. <laughs> But, and the, uh, rest, the rest get handshakes only. <laughs> yeah. 
but no i think that was that was very interesting at the end that there was a lot of it was a lot of uh 19 well you had those 1990s zero there and i thought they were going to take that um, actually the houston outlaws right at the end they had like the, the smidgenest little progress sort of tick to, to flip that point but they didn't manage to do it and we I can really sit... oh sorry keep going no as you see we can just see from that scoreboard there nxl taking it three to two I really enjoyed that we saw so much aggression come out of the Houston Outlaws because that's not really what they're known for, especially in the earlier stages. They were particularly commented upon for having a much more passive playstyle. So I thought it was really interesting to see that come out. We saw a lot of different DPS heroes be played. May was pretty exciting. Lots of Farrah play, which I will always appreciate. We had some great projectile stuff, obviously Farrah, but we got the Junkrat as well. We saw Genji, we saw Hanzo. There was so much variety in this series. I thought it was really interesting to watch. 